Now, one of the things that an awful lot of the dog people know about uh, about Black Rock is the bathhouses. Adrian, just tell me about uh, who owned them, or were they privately owned, or did they be owned by the council, or uh, who owned them? Well, Harry, um, from the 1800s on, there were at different times a number of bathhouses in the Black Rock area. It been um, a holiday destination. Yeah. Was it because of the sea, Adrian, that they were there? Uh, you know, yes. There was certain certain water. Yes. In the they used water from the sea, and they used um, they heated the water probably with coal, and they used um, they were called salt water baths. They used seaweed. Now there were a number of bathhouses. Um, I know there was one at the north end of the village owned by the Hapney family, roughly around the area where uh, the bus. Uh, garage is today. Mm. Now, um, up further at South End, you had Callan's salt water baths. Mm. Now, they were um, in existence right up to the 1970s. So, is the, so was the salt water water from the sea, and people thought it was healthy, did they? Um, it was commonplace at the time. I mean, the Romans were using baths, you know, and then bath in England. But the salt water was reputed to have ter- therapy, therapeutic yeah. effects for mm. rheumatism. And things like that. You also have to remember um, when holidays became more accessible to people with better working conditions into the 1900s where there were better homes being built in the town of Dundalk in all the terraced and semi-detached houses there were still only toilet facilities which was a flush toilet. There were no um, hot and cold running taps. There were no bath facilities. Are you saying that people went up to wash themselves in? Not necessarily, uh, Harry, but it was another factor in encouraging people. You can listen to lots more on Discovered Heritage at www.gatheringheritage.com.